everybody, this is Tambiota and you're watching the Daily Review. So today we have uh, the third part of the Prime Wars Trilogy Special Edition figures. Uh, this is from the Power of the Primes. So we have Punch, Counter Punch. Uh, man. If you want to see the other two videos, check out last, week video, last week's videos, uh, Monday and Tuesday. We had, um, let's see, Blast Off and Repugnus, if I, if I do believe that's correct. Uh, it was one of the monster bots, I, I believe it's Repugnus. So taking a look at the box, you can see here uh, both of his robot modes, his, uh, his Autobot mode and his, uh, his Decepticon mode. Uh, now here on the side, uh, you can see this is part of the uh, the picture that they have that you can uh, can put them together. It makes a uh, kind of a montage type artwork thing where all three of them stack together and make one big uh, one big picture. Uh, here on the back of the box, you can see uh, um, punch and counter punch. There's punch there. There's counter punch. There's his vehicle mode. Um, so he's basically a, a, a double agent. Um, from what I understand, he's mainly Autobot, and he goes and spies on the Decepticons. So Punch is an Autobot double agent. Yep, yep. So uh, he does come with a special Prime. He comes with Prima Prime. Uh, now, I don't have a Prima Prime because Prima Prime comes with... Well, I do have him. I haven't taken him out of the box yet, so I don't have a comparison of him. He comes with uh, um, with the uh, Throne of the Primes. So, all right, you can open this up and you can see him in there. Prime, Prime. choose your Prime. You got him in, in uh, punch mode. All right, so well, let's get this guy open so we can check him out. All right, so we're back and uh, here we have. Uh, Punch in his uh, in his in his robot mode. This is uh, the Autobot version. Uh, so punch counter punch punch being Autobot counter punch being Decepticon. Um, now this is the mode that he comes in inside the box, and I transformed him once just uh, so that he, I knew the uh, the gist of what we were doing when we were going through this uh, this, this review, and I, I wish they would make all the figures like this with i don't know it, it he has every form of articulation on here that you absolutely need or or that you would want and both modes look great both of them look great and this is this is what we've been waiting for these types of figures these quality of figures so he does have a, a couple of extra things inside this package uh, first of all, being the instructions. So, his instructions uh, show how to transform him from punch to the car to the car to counter punch, and then from counter punch back to punch. So that's the the way that we're gonna go with this. He does have uh, he does have a prime armor. Now, uh, um, what you can do to to use that is you can just pull this panel down right here, and you tab that into his chest. And that works on either version of him. Now, if you want to, what I've seen some people do is they pop it back here, like a jetpack. So some people do that. Uh, I think they mainly use it in this mode as a jetpack because it's a little bit higher up. As uh, where if you use it as a jetpack in in punch mode, then uh, it's going to be a little bit lower on the back. But it can also be a weapon. He doesn't have any components for a um, uh, for a limb mode. He doesn't have uh, uh, the the connectors, the the leg connectors, or the the, the shoulder connectors. Uh, he does have a a gun. Oh gosh, I forgot whose gun this was. So they went and added some new parts to it, like this fin right here and this piece right here and the barrel extension. Oh, I think it was. Um, uh, one of RC's guns, uh, I think, is what I saw. And he also comes with uh, with his buddy Prima Prime. Very silvery and clearish blue, which is fine with me. I like that. 
And then that's what he looks like as a prime. I, I wish I had the, uh, the Throne of Primes open so I could show you what they look like side by side. But unfortunately, I haven't got around to that yet. Uh, hopefully, that will be soon. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get into transformation. Um, so when we come back around into this, into back into this mode, we'll do his articulation. But uh, we'll remove the gun. We'll set that off to the side for right now. And first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to take, and I'm just going to straighten his arms, and then you bring this piece up, straighten everything out in here. Now, some people have gone and pulled this yellow panel off. It's not glued in or anything. People are like kind of prying it off, flipping around these shoulder joints. And uh, they're saying that that's helping with transformation. I was able to transform him and uh, I was able to keep everything sticking together. So hopefully that will show in this video. I, I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> But uh, you push these up. Now, a problem with mine is that it doesn't want to stick in there and stay. Because there's a tab that tabs into here. I don't know if that's one of the issues that they're saying. Oh, I forgot something. Um, where does it go? Back here. So back here, there's a panel that you can pull on. You pull on this right here. And you want to flip these pieces out because that's the middle part of the hood. You flip that back up. So, go and tab this stuff together. There's two tabs, one right here and one right here. On both sides of the hoods, and you just wanna line those up. Just everything that I found out with this hood, you just wanna push together. You push down this as much as you can, push these together. Trying to push these into here. Okay. Push these down. Okay, good. This is a problem that I have with my punch is that I don't feel like the ball joint on the neck is, is circular. I think it's an oval, offset oval. So the head keeps turning this away and looking... Um, I guess which would be to his left. Um, all right, so everything seems to be sticking together right now, which is, is good. That's pushed up a little bit, and one of his arms popped out. But we'll, we'll, we'll fix that in just a little bit. So we're going to take this, flip these out. This kind of reminds me of, um, uh, I believe it's Jazz. I don't, I don't remember which figure it was where it had these flip out panels right here but you want to flip these out also so this is the front windshield so flip these pieces around flip this under and then now this will all go around all of this so it hides this Decepticon logo So I'll push this side in. There's a tab that you push in to right here to connect that. And once you have that in, push that side in also, push this in. There's a couple of tabs in here uh, that I, I was kind of lining up with the shoulders. So line those all up. And then you can take the gun. There's this tab right here. You can see that little slot. Tab that just like that. Hides away the gun. Now if you want to, you can take this piece right here and tap it onto the top. There you go. So punch counter punch in his car mode. So he can be either punch or counter punch in his car mode. He doesn't have two separate car modes. Gosh, dude, like this is this is what I'm talking about. So you take a look and you got paint apps everywhere you need them. Tail lights, paint apps, headlights, clear plastic, paint apps, 
around the uh, the the radiator, the the air intake. You have paint apps here, the red rims, a little bit of paint app right there. It's it's really nice. I wish they oh, wish they would do this with everything, but. All right, so let's uh, transform him into counterpunch mode now. So this is, uh, I'll get one side undone. Stick in, there we go. Okay, and once you have one side undone, then you can do the other side like that. Makes things a little bit easier. Flip this around. I think it stuck together better this time than it did the first time that I transformed him. Um, okay, so first thing you want to do is want to take this windshield, fold it in like that, and then fold it up. This will kind of tab into here a little bit. There you go, like that, and then close this up. Take and remove this gun. Like the legs feel very familiar. I don't remember what figure uh, this this type of transformation has, but it feels very familiar. All right, so for counterpunch, we're going to be this way. So what you want to do is you want to take the Autobot symbol, flip that down so that um, nobody gets confused. And then we'll take and pop these pieces apart. And then we'll take this, fold this under. Now the head crest on here pivots so that you see that you can see the eyes for punch. Then you go and you tilt that back and now you can see the eyes for counter punch. You can't see it for punch now. All right, now the hands, you may notice that they're wrong ways. Well, you flip them out, you have blue hands now that are the correct way. All right, and then you just want to take this and rotate this around like this. All right, and there you go. You have counter punch now. And we do have a gun that we can add onto here. Like I said, if you wanted to, you can take this have it right here. It's kind of a jetpack. All right, so for articulation in this mode, we have a, uh, a ball joint. These are pretty much going to be the same. It's going to be the same for both. So, um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and go through on both. Uh, ball joint for the head, ball joint for the shoulders. So you got forward, you have back, you have out to the side. You do have a cut up here so you can reach up a little bit. Not a cut, it's a pin joint. You have uh, your twist, your elbow, and this is a pin joint, and nothing on the wrist. Waist, no, nothing. Hips, uh, it's a ball joint, so back, forward, out to the side. Then right below that is your twist. So it doesn't seem to be twisting very well. It's, it's a, it's a, um, it's a very strong twist, it's very, um, yeah, it's not loose at all. <laughs> uh, tight. There we go. Uh, you have your knee joint. So that it goes about that far in this mode. And there's nothing on the feet. So now to get him into his punch mode. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. Uh, we'll take and flip this up. Flip this down. So now you can't see the uh, Decepticon symbol. Flip this around, take his hands, flip them back around. Again, the easiest way that I found out is just to flip the hands inside. If you flip them inside, this panel will flop up, and then you can just close it back down. All right, and then once you have that, then we want to take and bring this back up like this. So you're just rotating it like that, and then um, take and bring it back. Like that, there's there's a few joints in here. There's a joint here, uh, a joint here that allows you to move it like this. Then there's a joint in here where you can spin it. 
and then there's a joint right here where you can twist it on the top of his arm. So you have that like that. That is where it's supposed to, that would make sense. And I don't feel it, I don't feel like it tabs in though. No, it doesn't feel like it tabs in. That feels like a natural resting spot though. on this side it's a little it gets a little tricky on this side that's cool that they have that I was wondering what that was for this side doesn't oh yeah okay it's stuck now cool all right so mr. fiddly all right see how his leg how his head is already turned probably have to readjust it a couple more times so a gun once again so for our articulation is everything still stuck together yeah all right articulation head once again it's on a ball joint it's the same head um the same arm joint so you got uh, forward back out to the side you get hindered because of this so you're going to want to bring the arm up like that uh, you have a, uh, a, a twist right here. It's the same twist. You have the elbow right here. Uh, let's see here. Down to the waist. It looks like... Dude, is there a hip joint? Yeah, there is. Oh. There is a, a, a hip joint or, or a waist joint right there. Then you have your hips. Uh, you have forward, back, out to the side. You have a twist. Oh, nope. Pop that off the joint. It's very tight but it does twist very tightly. Uh, you have your knee joint, and that looks like it goes about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit less than 90. But, but remember, this is a joint. It's going both ways. So it goes one way for one and one way for the other. So it's, it's, it's really good. It doesn't look bad either. All right. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it for Punch Counter Punch. So if you did enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. Because uh, we're making videos, having a new video updated or uploaded every single day. So you can come back, watch videos. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for watching. This is Tambiota. See you guys next time.